Hi everyone! In this video, I'd like to introduce you how to play One Man Cat's Cradle. This includes seven Cat's Cradle figures, and after all seven figures, we will come back same position as beginning. So you can do it over and over until you get really tired of it. If you don't have Cat's Cradle string loop, please watch my tutorial video in the description box below and make one yourself. Let's get started! First, one end of the loop, hook on thumb and pinky of left hand and keep two strings parallel and the other end of the loop, hook on thumb and the pinky of right hand like this and with right hand middle finger pick this horizontal string of left hand and with left hand middle finger pick this horizontal string in between these two vertical strings like this and this is the form, the beginning form, that we always come back. So just remember this. Now, both pointers, middle fingers, ring fingers, and pinkies, all eight fingers, put them together, and both of hands, bring them in between both thumbs. There is a triangle space, and you will put all eight fingers in the triangle space. Like this. And there is a horizontal string right in front of both thumbs. And we are going to pass this horizontal string toward the back of both hands. So slowly slide it back of the hand and open the hands and face them each other now if you see there is horizontal string behind both pinkies and we are going to bring that horizontal string in front of the both thumbs. So watch this. Put pointers, middle fingers, ring fingers, and the pinkies together, both hands and thumbs. And bring the horizontal string behind the pinky by bending all the fingers down and slide the string toward in front of the thumb like this and pull to the side and this is the first figure called baby's crib And now, with both thumbs, pull these two strings in front of pointers down and pick these two strings behind the pointers with the back of the thumbs and pull toward you. Now, we're going to let the pinkies and ring fingers and middle fingers strings Go at the same time both hands together so just slide it down all those six fingers and just leave pointers and thumbs with strings and here is the second figure called rice field And now, we're going to let 
the both pointers and thumbs of left hand strings go like this and there are space in front of pointer of right hand and thumb of the right hand now slide from the bottom and place left hand pointer and thumb in front of the other pointer and thumb and pull to the side and this is the third figure called river now with the both pinkies come from the bottom of the figure and press the string in front of both pointers so press down the horizontal string in front of pointer with the pinkies and after that pick the horizontal string behind the thumb with the back of both pinkies and pull to the back and let go of both thumb strings and now with both thumbs put them in the triangle right in front of you and press down these two diagonal strings and pick these strings in front of pinkies with back of the thumbs and pull toward you and let both pinky strings go and now with both pointers hold the both strings in front of both pointers these two like this hold well and there are two double strings behind both pointers and we are going to slide that over to the front of the pointers like this and after that still holding the strings in the pointer and slowly stand up those pointers now with both pointers pick the horizontal string behind the both thumbs so with the back of pointers pick the horizontal string like this and pull to the side now we came back to the figure of rice field now with the both pinkies pick these two diagonal strings with the back of the pinkies and kind of press down the strings and pass that horizontal line on the back and press the horizontal string on the back with the pinkies and there is a diamond in the middle and upper strings of diamonds with the back of pinkies pick them up like this and pull to the back and let go of the thumb strings and if you rotate the hands this is the fourth figure called a diamond now put both thumbs into these two triangles at the bottom so put them in and you don't have to rotate the hands but on the back of the figure put the thumbs and pointers of both hands together like this 
and put them into the diamond in the middle like this and bring that both set of pointers and thumbs up like this and open and let the both pinky strings go like this and you can see there is a bridge two strings on top and there are two loops hanging underneath right now put the right hand pinky in the right hand loop like this and pick the left side loop oh, left side loop like this just left side loop only and pull and with the left side pinky pick the string of right side loop like this and pull to the side and this is the fifth figure called tsutsumi which is a japanese type of drums and now with both thumbs pick these two strings in front of both pointers with back of thumbs and with pointers pick these two strings behind both thumbs with back of pointers like this and this is the sixth figure called boat now there are double strings behind thumbs and pointers now we are going to bring them down around the wrists now to do so you need to bring in both pinkies ring fingers and middle fingers inside the rectangle which pointers and thumbs are holding so watch this So slowly bring pinkies, ring fingers, and middle fingers inside and bring the double string outside to the wrists and still holding pinky strings like this and slowly just straighten up the pinkies like this and this is the seventh figure called bridge. And now with both thumbs, pick these two strings in front of both pinkies with the back of thumbs like this. And with the right hand middle finger, pick this horizontal string of left hand like this. And with the left hand middle finger, pick this horizontal string in between two vertical strings just like this and you clap the hand like this and hold all the strings in between two hands and bring those double strings from the wrist like this shaking down and there are two loops so try to bring one loop in front of both thumbs and other loop behind the pinkies like this and you just slowly open the hands stretch out the both hands and ta-da we came back to the starting point so you can just keep going on and on i hope you enjoyed this video and you will try this and master this and this is pretty cool so you can show off to your friends and family thank you for watching